An important skill in troubleshooting networks is the ability to read a routing table and understand each line. As in any skill, the best way to learn is to take a routing table line by line and reconstruct the network topology. Let's start with the routing table output. This output was produced with the show IP route command from the router with the host name router B. Now let's begin constructing the topology line by line. The directly connected networks are easiest, so let's do those first. The first line starting with the letter C tells us that there is a network directly connected to this router. So let's add that network onto router B's serial 0 slash 0 interface. We also know that this is the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network and can add that label to the topology. The second line of the routing table shows us that there is an Ethernet network directly connected to router B on its fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface, so let's connect that network. We will label this network on the topology with 192.168.11.0 slash 24. It's starting to look more like a real topology now, right? There is one more directly connected network according to the third line of the routing table. The 192.168.12.0 slash 24 network is connected to serial 0 slash 1. Now that directly connected networks are built, let's add routers and show which way the updates will go. There are five more entries in the routing table. Because the table entries start with the letter R, we know that these routes were learned by the RIP routing protocol. We should be able to figure out which outgoing interface they are based and the number of hops in the routing metric. Let's look at the first one. Using the dynamic protocol RIP, router B has learned of the 192.168.13.0 slash 24 network. In the statement 120 slash 2, the 2 means that 192.168.13.0 network is two hops away, which basically means two routers away. The line also tells us that the 192.168.13.0 network is located off router B's serial 0 slash 0 interface. We know then that this network is connected to another router, two hops away. So we'll just reference it with the cloud. The next line in the routing table tells us that this network is also learned by RIP. It is one hop away and is also reached by exiting serial 0 slash 0. The sixth line in the routing table is similar, referencing another network 192.168.15.0, one router away off the serial 0 slash 0 interface of router B. We're almost done. Only two lines left in the routing table to construct our topology. Note that the last two lines contain statements that tell us that the last two networks can be reached going out of the serial 0 slash 1 interface of router B. So let's add the 192.168.16.0 network connected one router away to serial 0 slash 1. Only one line left. Note that this line from the routing table again references a network that is two hops away from router B. We'll again only reference this network with the cloud. Our topology is now complete. Learn to read a routing table. Make it a practice to dissect every line so that you will understand what is happening. Remember, understanding routing tables is a great tool for troubleshooting network problems.